Hey YouTube Opinionative Reviewer here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 GM. Yes iOS 5 GM I think that's Goldmaster and that's the last beta. The next release is going to be iOS, the official release of iOS 5. Now you do not need UDID registered to use this. If you don't have your UDID registered but you still want to use it you can go ahead and do so. It doesn't have UDID checked so you do not have to register your UDID. Secondly, this is a Tether jailbreak, so remember you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot your iDevice Tether. If your battery dies, you reboot or you power off your device. So you're going to need just two things. You're going to need Red Snow. The link is in the description of where you can download everything. And you're going to need the iOS 5 GM IPSW. As you can see, I have it here. Not iOS 5 Beta 7. You do not have to point it to that. You need the iOS 5 GM. IPSW. So now what we're going to do is just right click Red Snow, click Properties, Compatibility, check off Run This Program in Compatibility Mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2, check Run This Program as an administrator, hit Apply, and then hit OK. And that's for Windows 7 and Windows Vista's users. If you don't see it, then don't trip, then you don't need it. That step is not mandatory. So now you're going to run Red Snow click yes and you're gonna click extras you're gonna click extras because we gotta browse for IPSW and we're gonna click select IPSW so we're gonna select it manually mine is on my desktop right here after I select it it says the following has been identified so now we're gonna go back and now we're gonna go ahead and click jailbreak it's gonna patch the kernel And now I'm going to go ahead and enable all three of these stuff, uh, battery percentage, multitask gestures, and install CD. I'm using my iPod Touch 4th gen, and I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Now we got to put our, ID, our device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I'm going to show you. You're going to hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then you're going to release the power button, keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes the iDevice. You do not have to click next. We're going to do the step. Whenever Red Snow recognizes your device, it's going to automatically do it for you. So now let's go. There we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Release. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. As you see, Red Snow recognizes the I device. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to let Red Snow work its magic. And after Red Snow work its magic, I'm going to come back when it's finished. So now that Red Snow is finished, you're going to realize that your CDR is going to be crashing and also your Safari is going to be crashing. You might have a white CDR icon. Don't worry, that's normal for Tether jailbreak. Now what we got to do is boot the device Tether. So now we're going to run Red Snow again. Yes. And we're going to click extras. Then we're going to click just boot. Just boot right now. And now we've got to get ready to put our device into DFU mode again. So let's go. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Nine Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. Release. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi. And we release Red Snow to so recognize our device again. So all we got to do is wait for Red Snow to boot up Tethered. And I'm going to come back when that is finished. So now that Red Snow is finished, your Cydia and your Safari should be working like normal. Now remember this is a Tethered jailbreak, so you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot Tethered. Every time your battery dies, you reboot your device or you power off your device. So yes, please remember that. Link in the description to troubleshooting steps, a guide, and everything you need to download. You are now jailbroken and the jailbreak force be with you. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.